Shacha Sanskrit, Saka also spelled Sacha, Saka literally means purity, cleanliness and clearness. It refers to purity of mind, speech and body. Sacha is one of the Niyamas of Yoga. It is discussed in many ancient Indian texts such as the Mahabharata and Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. It is a virtue in Hinduism and Jainism. Sacha includes outer purity of body as well as inner purity of mind. The concept of Sacha is synonymous with Shuddhi. Lepage states that Sacha in yoga is on many levels, and deepens as an understanding and evolution of self increases. Shacha, or holistic purity of the body, is considered essential for health, happiness, and general well being. External purity is achieved through daily ablutions, while internal purity is cultivated through physical exercises, including asana postures and pranayama breathing techniques. Along with daily ablutions to cleanse one's body, the concept of shacha suggests clean surrounding, along with fresh and clean food to purify the body. Lack of sacha, such as letting toxins build in body or a source of impurity, shacha goes beyond purity of body, and includes purity of speech and mind. Anger, hate, prejudice, greed, pride, fear, negative thoughts are a source of impurity of mind. The impurities of the intellect are cleansed through the process of self-examination, or knowledge of self the mind is purified through mindfulness and meditation on one's intent, feelings, actions and its causes. Topic: <inaudible> Literature. Satcha is included as one of 5 niyamas in yoga. That is activity that is recommended for spiritual development of an individual. Verse 2.32 of Yoga Sutra lists the five niyamas. In verse 2.40, Patanjali describes outer purity, while verse 2.41 discusses inner purity, as follows. Sattvasuddhasamanasya ikagriyandriyajayat madarsana yogyatvani ka sacha is one of the ten yamas listed by Sandilya Upanishad, as well as by Svatmarama. It is one of the virtuous restraints yamas taught in ancient Indian texts. The other nine yamas are ahimsa, ahimsa non-violence, satya, satya truthfulness, asteya, asteya not stealing, brahmacharya, brahmacharya celibacy chastity and fidelity, kasama, kasama forgiveness, dhrt, dhrt fortitude, daya, daya compassion, arjava, arjava sincerity and non-hypocrisy, and mitahara, mitahara moderate diet. The epic Mahabharata mentions the virtue of purity satya in numerous books. For example, in Book 14 Chapter 38, it lists Satya as a high quality found in the liberated, happy and dharmic person. Nirmamo nirahankaro nirasi sarvata sama akama hata itya isa satam dharma sanatana visrambo harisa titiksa ka tayaga sakama atandrita anarzansayama asamoho daya butsva apaisunama harsha satustira vismayasa ka vinaya sadavartata santi karma vijudasa ka subha budira vimakanama upeksa baramakaryam ka paratyagasa ka sarvasa nirmamatvama anasistvama aparikrita dharmata he is. Free from possessiveness, free from egoism, free from pessimism, looks on all with an equal eye, free from craving. In him is seen confidence, endurance, renunciation, purity, absence of laziness, absence of cruelty, absence of delusion, compassion for all creatures, absence of the disposition to slander others or to exult at gains. He is satisfied, humble, emancipated, indifferent, peaceful, unaffected by ups and downs, pursuer of Brahma, and exhibits purity in all acts aiming for tranquility, understanding and the right. The Gwad Gita describes purity at three levels in Book 17, verses 14 to 16, namely body, speech and thoughts. Purity of body comes from cleanliness of body as well as from what one eats and drinks. Purity of speech comes from being truthful and through use of words that are not injurious, hurtful or distressing to others or self. Purity of thoughts comes from reflection, peace of mind, silence, calmness, gentleness and purity of being. Purity of mind, speech and body has been one of the important virtues in Indian philosophy. Topic. See also Ahimsa Satya Asteya 
Brahmacharya Kasama DHRT Daya Mitahara Arjava Akrata Dana <laughs>